Sure. Just some bonus yep. info to help more interest us, I guess. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to load C2, but the video, of course, won't won't come through. How far apart? Well, the ROV was sitting when it lifted it off, so like a couple of meters. Zero to two meters, yeah. Something yeah. like that. Yeah, they're still working on it, so they'll give us a shout. Yeah, that's helpful. Okay. <coughs> Bring the uh, magnum up. Start bringing the magnum up, Danny. Yep, looking on it. Okay. It'll probably be a low, low grab, I think. Okay. We're going to grab onto this thing, Dirk, to unplug it. Do we need to get the dust cap out or anything? Yeah, so we're going to want to get the gray dust cap, and we're going to get the, we also want the 12-way <coughs> parking position for this. Okay. Does this one actually go on to a parking position? Um, the We're going to have to disconnect the oily. Last time we didn't have to do it since we didn't recover the instrument, but this time we will. Oh, so. So that green cable. So the problem is we have to hold on to unplug. We can also... This B bag, if we want more weight, we can nope. pick up that B bag nope. as well. No, nope. I need to hold on to unplug. Which uh, bar? So, well, let's think about this for a minute. So, yeah. if you have to hold on to unplug, how are you going to. Uh, I can break them both loose. We can put the parking position in the Fletcher, and then we can par uh, park the fem uh, rear female connector last. Well, the important one not to stuff in the mud is the oily, right? Sorry, what's that, Daniel? Just a little quiet. I can't. The important one not to, um, the one we're going to reuse is the oily. Yes, right? that's correct, yeah. So, and it will go on a parking position, which we could put in the Fletcher. Uh, yep. So, that's an easy solution. Before we do anything here, we get the parking position out, fletch it. So starfish to Fletcher. Okay, the or Fletcher in the bio to Fletcher. box or the toolbox. So that's that's one step. The other one um, is the gray thing that is not fletchable, right? So <coughs> how we did that the other day is we broke it loose first, then put it back on, then let go with the magnum, got the what do you call it? The transportation thing out. Is it, and you want to, you want to plug that one, or do you want to not bother? So we'll put some dust caps on it, dust on, caps especially on, on the, the green instrument. one, right? On the instrument. So, um, yeah, you've got this sequence. So we'll take this green, or the ODI. We're going to put it in the PBOF, and then we get the middle one. Put it on the um, right. gray guy, and then we put a dust cap on the green one. Because and that one's we're going to be flying with. Dust cap on the middle one, too? If we have it. I'm just checking the dive plan if you have two I dust caps. I believe we do. I believe we do. Okay. So, in that case, we're going to have to uh, undo the middle one and leave it dangling somewhere. Because we're going to have to unplug it, do something with it and put the dust cap on it. And the one we care about is the on the instrument, right? So I would suggest that we do the right one first, unplug, fletch it, put the dust cap on it. Then the middle one, we unplug, dangle it somewhere, put the dust cap on that, on the instrument. Then we can get the uh, transportation cap out and do that the very last. Because we don't care about that one. It's coming to the deck, right? In the scheme of things. Yeah, I think that, that makes sense, what you just said. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay. I concur. So, before we grab on, we need to get... You're going to need two dust caps and a fletcher. I, I think they're in the toolbox. I think so. <coughs> And I've got a nice fancy hose in my way, but that's okay. It won't be a big issue. I see one dust cap. 
Oh, the parking position for those, the 12 way, yeah. And a 12 way. Yeah. So mm. only one. I think there was only one on the. I don't even see any on the list, so. Uh, um, well, we he just kept one in there, yeah. Have our okay. standard one. Okay, I so we'll only dust one. Uh, which one do you want to dust? Uh, I don't know. Probably the green one. The green one goes to the instrument. Uh, uh, I yeah, would the say... Green, green one goes to the instrument, so we don't care, right? Yeah, I would say, you know what, if we only have one, don't even don't even worry about the dust caps. Roger. Well, we can... Because the can, one's going to stay on the frame. Right. We can dust cap the one on the frame, but yeah. that just complicates our lives. Yeah, let's do that one. Yeah. I guess this dust cap came from the CTD. Uh, Danny, put that back down again and pick it up. I'm trying to tip it over. Bash it around in there, yeah, and pick it up where you can get a good clutch on it. <laughs> <laughs> get Western with it. Bash it till you have it in the position you want it. And then okay, I just decided I wanted to flip over again. And you can porch out a little for him too. So if we drop stuff here in the mud, it's you know could be hours before we see it again. It wants to be that way. Okay. No, I don't want to put it on the porch. If you can't do it here, you can't do it on the porch. No, I, I'm going to do it. I hear. I'm just the other option is to hand it to the Magnum. Yeah. So staples. We've got a dust and staples and crap in here. Well, yeah. If we do it on the porch, it goes pew, plop. What does it make? What's the sound when it hits the mud? Is it pop? Is it plop. What kind of a sound does a flight, uh, flight uh, parking position make when it hits the mud? <laughs> 2,600 meters? Poof. 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 <laughs> okay. This is it right here. Except that rope's in your way. Well. Get rid of the rope. for you to move stuff without moving other stuff. Do a biz. <coughs> you can always wait or have Jake come up a little for some clear biz. So. Well, I can see pretty good in now. I would gently nudge it away from the wall so you can grab the puck. We could have gone down with this in the budget. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. Ignore the rope completely. Pretend it's not there, depending on what it's attached to. There's a pink at the pull pin, so yeah. I'm not really worried about it. Me neither. I'm over it. <laughs> <coughs> It'll go away when we... Uh, it can stay there the whole time, maybe. We'll see. Just completely ignore it. Of course, it'll be in the way when we go to plug in. Critical. Okay. Path. I want to get this directly from here to the Fletcher. Yep. Door close. We 
I've dropped stuff in the mud here before, and that's it. It's gone. I can't even find it, even if you could see. Ignore the rope. Okay. It's there just to annoy you. Well, hopefully it doesn't stop me from fletching. Me too. I could just tip it over. Get the rope off of there. Or you could ignore the rope. Okay. I can ignore the rope. Safety rope, Danny. <laughs> it was garbage. Uh, thanks for that tip about the uh, freeze uh, freeze reset. Uh, it doesn't always work with this manipulator know. for some reason. Is the north marker here? Or yeah, same with the shilling. It seemed to work pretty well just yeah. now. Yeah. So now we're going to... What did we agree? Now we're going to grab on? Yeah. And see Star to Fletcher. We are going to grab on. I think you could so see the north porch out of the way, maybe. Oh, oh the uh, magnum is pinned. I'm going to come up with the magnum. I don't know. No, you I don't can try the magnum, too. You really got the magnum pinned. There you go. Yeah, Thanks. See if there's anything that looks like that weird cup thing or something. Yeah. Come on, elbow. Play nice. He's got the gamer's touch to get the magnum to work. It's kind of like this. This is the sound he's making. <laughs> In a previous life, I was a uh, uh, Morse code operator. <laughs> Look at that little starfish down there. Yeah. <clears throat> What's the best place to grab on on this? Right. Uh, well, there's a safe spot, is this, at, or d anywhere on this frame around the bumpers, but it the depends on where you need to be. The we, left point. We grabbed on that ball on the bottom. The yesterday. left point? Yeah. So and that housing is titanium? Yeah, I, yeah but the connector, the connector is, is fragile. fragile. Yeah. It's kind of sitting there. I would uh, 180 your jaw there and just leave it pointing down, Danny. If you want to grab the lift point, the crane grab. What do you want to grab? The lift point. Oh, you want to grab the lift point. Oh, okay. You say 180 a jaw? Yeah, I'll put the little bit through the lift point. Point down a little so he doesn't have to make yep. it just come down on it. Once you get a hold of it, you can move the vehicle where you want it with the magnet. Something like that. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, standing by with lockjaw. Uh, are you going to get there without hitting the porch on that connector? I think so. Or hit the bottle before the porch. <laughs> Sweet. Now, if you want, you can lateral around and pivot on here. Now you have to. Do it. 
do it with the Magnum, though, right? Uh, no, you can. Well, you can move the vehicle with the Magnum, but you can also lateral and. I don't want to swing around on that. I'm rotating that's my. A good, that's a good angle there, I think. I'm resting my. I'm rotating my wrist, which is turning us. Okay, so. Whatever you do, do not disturb the sea star. The sea star <laughs> is your happy friend. There. Yeah, they're gonna upset. It they're gonna, us cookies. Princess they're gonna cookies. upset Megan if you. <laughs> the sea star has to jump off there. Sea star's not gonna jump. <laughs> sea star is happy. Patrick, stay steady. Give it all a sniff. Yeah, poke to see where you are. Once you connect to it before you pull, just stand by for one second. Copy that, Danny. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Lock jaw, stand by. Oh, you guys are loud. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> well, you're really quiet. You're just like whispering. Okay. That's because our audio system is all wonky. You have the, your special headset. So. Um, all right, Arvi, when you, whenever you're ready. Yep. Okay. Commencing pull-out. Go ahead, Danny. Commencing operation pull-out. <laughs> I don't think you're Aww. supposed to call it that. Bye, Star. Bye, Star. You pulled too hard. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, no, now it's upside now down. Now it's upside down. Oh, we can get a good view of its inner workings. <laughs> its mouth parts. <laughs> its input-output. Its output's on the top. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Can they flip themselves back upright? Yeah, I think they can. <coughs> they seem to at the... Uh, uh, Wait, the where's my... Okay, my pin's on the bottom. Okay. The aquarium there in uh, Newport, Oregon. Hatfield Marine Science Center. Yeah. The well, kids, one of the favorite things for the kids to do is pick them up, put them upside down in the... <laughs> volunteer there has to go around yeah. and write starfish. <laughs> Sometimes they miss them. And Those are no tidal winds. They're probably pretty used to that activity, seeing yeah. as they live in a spot where they could get flipped over easily. Yeah. Down here, I don't think this star ever experienced anything quite <laughs> like what it just did. We'll be back here in like a couple hours and see how it's done. Yeah. yeah. They move real slow, so it might take them longer than that. When it, I don't know. Showing Bumble there, this alignment is leaning outboard. <coughs> I've got 90 out view, it's pretty sweet for the Fletcher. I should have had a Fletcher preset. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Okay. Uh, I don't know. No, that's all the way in. Looks into me. Yeah. yeah, it's so furry, I can't tell. Um, <laughs> can we? <gasps> it does look in. Um, it would be nice to confirm with the zoom. Uh, no, I'm happy with that. I can see the lines there parallel. We're good. Okay. We can zoom. We have the technology. Uh, I can see it. Next, I believe, is the dust cap. Are the no, we're doing we the said no. On the other one. Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah. We okay. Sorry, I lost the plot. Uh, well, we do we have the plastic? Oh, well, I guess the plastic one we're holding on, so that's not going to help us. Is the deck holding at 800? No, no, they're still coming down. It's slow. Yeah, it's just kind of slow. Okay. So, one, se one second. What's the plan for the dust cap? Are we? We can. We can. I just Let me give you some more room here. You got plenty of room. You're, right. sta you're keeping me stable. Um, do we have any arm left there? I'm concerned that the cable coming off the porch will be in the way. Maybe uh, elbow. I. <coughs> we can move the uh, mang. Uh, move the magnum. vehicle back away. Yeah, with the magnum, so you got room. 
without interfering with that cable on the porch there. Hold on, Magnum's just going to pull you in and, oh, you're doing elbow up, never mind. You're good. <coughs> I thought you were backing up. <laughs> okay, so are we going to put a dust cap on the center one? Yeah, but how can you, how are you going to be able to get the dust cap out of your... I thought we were going to forgo the dust cap altogether. So we need the, um, will we still want... Give me some more room here. Yeah, which one do we still want dust cap on here? The only one we care about is the one we're going to plug back into. I think we're good. Yeah, uh, I room. think we're good. As long as we don't just stir up the mud too much around here. Okay. We probably Pull back don't and need hit a that. dust cap on that. What's that? We probably can get away without a dust cap. I don't know. One landing and... Yeah, but it's uh, going to be such fine silt and it's pins, so I think once we try and mate, it's just going to clear it out. Got it. We can do the waft. So, uh, <coughs> we're going to have to... We're going to pull right back into that hey, Jeb. connector there. Yeah, we're going to have to... I'll just have... What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a hold and I'll just have you swing the Wait magnum minute. left. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For you, unplug there. I'm frozen. They're discussing in the background. Do we do we not need to take the one off the Fletcher out and set it down? Sorry, what was that, Dan? Were you talking to me? So you want to pick these cables up, right? Yeah, we want both these. So we do, we're not going to dust cap the one on the instrument platform. So we can once we pick this, we can fly with it. Right, but we need to take the one out of the Fletcher and gently stow it somewhere because we don't yeah. want to fly with that one, right? No, we don't want to fly with that one. So that one needs to go somewhere. Oh, okay. Um, I think if we pick this one, we'll just fly backwards and that Fletcher will uh, slide right out of well, there, won't we it? we need the Fletcher mm. plate no. on the other one. No. We can't fly no, no, no. with this one before we remove this one from the frame. Gotcha. So we need to take the one out of the Fletcher and we can stow that. Yeah, I, we need to place it somewhere so it's not going to go over top of these cables when we try to fly with the other ones. Yeah. It looks like we're free from the still camera. It looks like we're free kind of over towards our starboard side, kind of in behind. It looks to me like we're going to have to set it right by our sea star, our self riding sea star. Because uh -oh. I can see in the bubble camera yeah, the oily is right. yep. going under. So we have to do that yet. Yeah. Okay. And black looks like it's going over as well. So, okay. Yeah, yeah that's good. Can you whack back? <coughs> And if you want to give me some porch, that would be amazing. Some people were asking about our knives on our arm. Uh, they are connected by magnets. <laughs> Sorry, knife, our magnetic knife rack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think they were confused about the tape. The tape is for gripping. It's for gripping and, yeah, the... Uh, kind of spiral there helps us since we're only looking at it with one eye to give some uh it's for it's for aesthetic <laughs> yeah okay back forward back and forward if you're clever you can set it on the bean bag danny porching in uh. or you can just drop it i'm going to set it down where i can pick it up again let's um Let's go out a little further away. Let's see the cable there, so it's not uh, further away out as far as you can get. That is as far as I got. Uh, rotate your wrist to the left a little. Don't forget the dust. Don't dust it up. <laughs> what I want. What I want. Okay, set it down there. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. No, that's fine. So I gotta pull this green Fletcher. And uh, we gotta like put it on the porch and tie it down or something. Yeah, thanks, Can we put it in the toolbox? Uh, no, because we're the, well, no, huh. because we wanna fly with these, um, probably wanna have a connector almost. How, how, how's best, what do you guys suggest for flying with the two 
I would at the same time. Yeah, so we're going to eventually want them in both hands. Yeah. So it looks like the green one is longer. So if you're gentle, you can pull that and put it on the porch. It may or may not stay. Then we can pull the black one and uh, hand that off to the magnum. <coughs> okay. Or, you could or we could probably hand the green one off to the magnum. And then when you pull the other one, you'll have it in your... Yeah, the problem is pulling the other one when I'm not connected to the platform. Yeah. So I'd put that one on the porch for now. Yeah. And pull the other one and see what we got. Well, Maybe. I mean, we could pull the Fletcher when we're not connected. No, you need to pull the Fletcher now. Okay. Put it on the porch. You can probably... Uh, when you pull the other one, then pin, use it to pin the one on the porch, and then we can maybe fly that way. Just hold it down with your uh, other connector. I'll leave the magnum free. Uh, could work. Could work. So I want that on the porch, right? Mm-hmm. Rack back, Jake? I can back. Stick it way back by the uh I can porch out. Box. Porch out would be great. Well then you won't be able to see your other connector. That's true. Oh, okay. Your wrist right before you lay it down. There's a quick setting for that too. Which one? It's on the engineer. It's toolbox. He's got it in his pilot cam, though. I think that's it right there. You rotate right a little bit. I can't see. Eh, uh, rotate the other way. Sorry. Yeah, it bombs away there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Alright, you'll have to rack out. Rack it out. So when you do pull the other one there, um, oh, you porched out too, didn't you? No. Really? No. Oh, your head, you'll have to gently, uh, hold on, Danny. I'm just lining up. Okay. <coughs> if you come out of auto heading and lateral left, gently. No, so I can rest, rest left on, uh, okay, auto heading again. So when you pull that guy, Danny, move real slow because it. I think it's gonna come tight and affect the green one. Okay. Octopus speed engage. Roger. Nice. Okay, if we rotate left and then tuck her in there and pin the other one, I think we're golden. That was... Watch this. Let me wreck it again here. Rotate left a little. Tie this thing into a knot. Yeah, just pin it. Don't worry about the cable. Or the hose. Okay. Uh, that's gonna stay? Hold what you got. Could stay. Um, I don't like it. I kind of want to go around the other way with the uh, green, because I think the green's gonna come into my armpit and slide out. 
Alright. You're uh, pinching the hose there, so careful with that. Yep. You're risking knocking that thing off. As long as you got the I think one, we got it. It's got the one's got the tension, and the other one can only fall so far. So, all right. Okay, so um, we want to be very gentle with this. Our plan is to just expose the cable so that we can find the seismometer. All right. Okay. So, from here, which direction is the cable? It goes east. East. Yeah, and it's 17 meters from here, and it's a 20 meter long cable. So we're looking east at it? Yeah, we're looking east. All right. You want to let go and get your uh, camera where you can... We want to see the cable come out of the mud as you float Let up. me know when you're ready to release. Whenever you're ready to go with the ROV. <clears throat> yeah, I can see it just off to the right there. See the green yep. cable? So I'd okay. change your heading until you're looking at that before you let go. Ready. Three, two, relax jaw, lift jaw off. open. We have lift off. Slide to the right a little so I jaw close. Cable there. Yeah, beauty. Don't play forward, just float up there. Okay. just floating we we can't really get into too much trouble no we can watch it come out of the seabed watch yep. it touch down in the uh, in the bubble cam right now so. bubble cam and Danny cam coming in clutch Love to watch your Delta there Danny yeah let's come up coming up up on bubble. Iris a little. Let's see off into the background there. Okay, got you in box center. Find that you're not coming up, maybe a little thrust isn't going to hurt it too much. Can, uh, always turn your Z bias down. We're still thrusting down 30%. Okay, perfect. Video's going off for a minute for a watch change. Roger. So, right now we're 10 meters above the bottom, which is half the cable length. Half the cable length. Yeah, well, it says 20 meter cable. So can, uh, 
Come forward just a little bit more, put just a little more catenary in the cable there. Can you rack out? I'm racked out. Mm. The port's still out, is it? No, it should be in. We we'll zoomed all the way wide if you look at the, uh, we can see this. Yeah. I can see it in the bubble camera there. I could see it in the Danny cam until we turn the lights off. <coughs> you can see out that far in the... I'm just going to cycle your lights here. Oh wait, the video's changing out. And it'll blow it out. <coughs> Twelve meters altitude. Come up a couple more meters and we'll go have yep. a look. Coming up slow. Yeah, okay, let's go have a look. Looks like it goes off east. Fifteen meters altitude. Oh yeah, you're coming up even more. You can come yeah, back down. Go, they're we'll not come back down and go have a look. Come back down. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Looks like you're about halfway to the seismometer there. Yeah. You can fly forward and We'll loop the cable back. You'll see it off going off in bubble. We'll come five yep. forward and we'll lay it out uh, you. You wanna come down about here, I think. Yep. Maybe, I don't know. Come down there so you can see the cable. Otherwise you'll be lost. dirt track where you lifted it up if you did. You're laying it down over the new one or the old one or what do you got there? I can't see. Uh, well, just see, see it goes under the ground right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way we want to go. Yep. I want to lift Beauty. up here. Well, you can come down and follow your track out. Oh, really? Looks like it lifted up to the left there, right? Eh? So, once we come That's the cable we have wrapped up, and then it goes underground that way. So, we're the only thing is, I'm just talking to Jeb here, um, we really can't put 
any force on the connector on the far end. So I don't know. If we what, just keep it's not strain relieved? Doesn't sound, it sounds like it might not be. Yeah, it's possible, Dan. I forgot to do that on this one. We'll mm -hmm. put, yeah. um, but, I mean, I don't think we're putting any force on the connector yet. No, okay. we're just trying to lift it out of the mud a little bit. So that's the loop I flew out, and then it goes underground there. How much of this, Go like, down, how much do you get have? Get a little closer so I can I probably have 10 meters or so. Okay. It might have disturbed it enough to, you know, get a clue where it's buried. Yeah. But it's really close to the lid where it's buried, like an arm's width, an ROV width from the lid. Right. Is that the lid up there? I don't know. Uh, oh, no, you the lid's it? way up there. That's the lid. That's, it's really close to there. So we're definitely not pulling on this seismometer if we're coming up here. Okay. Should we pull it up a little bit more? I come think so, yeah. Come down just a little closer, see if we can get a clue. I see some disturbance there I can't see from here. The best guess from uh, shore is that the lid's a bit to the east of the caisson. Well. To the east. Yeah. Oh, so it's in between. Oh, come back a little. Come okay. back. back. Oh, I see green right there. See it? Mm-hmm. And sand. Yeah. See where you've disturbed yeah, it there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming that's, around? Is yeah, that looks promising. Well, that looks like that's west of the cave. But that means the lid is to the east, which yeah. makes sense. I think, okay, yeah. can we... Oh, I see the connector. Yeah, I'll have a little closer look down yeah, there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. There we go, then. We found it. Okay. Uh, you have a little... I can't quite see what he's looking at there. Connector. Black connector right there, sticking out of the granite mud. Yeah, that's it. I don't know if that's a connector or not. Well, it's something. Something. Something looks different. Yeah, maybe it's a not a connector. Loop, maybe. Yeah, maybe a weird <laughs> loop. Yeah, okay, okay, a weird loop. But I see. I see what Dan's there. talking about. It does not loop around, down. right? No, I just was looking at your altitude. Um, if we think it's the beach, then that's where we want to excavate. Yeah. All right. I want to just lock it straight up and. Uh, we'll come uh, neatly coil this mess right below us here. <coughs> or we can lift it up and neatly coil the whole thing in one. Yeah, either way. Um, we're just going to... We're, we're, we're going to want to move this out of the way before we lay the cable for the new one. So yeah. So if we want to do that now, then that's, that's good. Might as well. We have yep. it. Yep. All right. So okay. So if you <coughs> mark that spot in your brain and come up again and we'll lay this out to, Did we mark it? to the east or something. Yeah, I can come back and mark it. Just look for the uh, sea cucumber. He kind of tells us where it's at. Is this where we landed before? I'm yeah. over it now. Yeah, we were sitting here before. <laughs> yeah, and we excavated right here <laughs> with the treasure. So we were just a little bit past it. Yeah. Delta. Hi. Actually, no, I think we're sitting over there when we're digging. Never mind. Are you coming up or what are you doing? We were trying to get a fix. Okay. Thought you were gonna stand up and uh, lay it down at one. We are now. He he was just coming down there. Oh. And you see him bouncing like that. I mean, it's, uh, it's tight. We're 45 there. What do you want to call this? X. X. <laughs> X. X marks All the spot. Right. We'll dig at X. Yeah. <laughs> dig here. Uh, <laughs> okay. So how do you want to lay this cable? Um, anywhere so it's not in, like so. There's so if this is the spot. The new cable is going to be like 100% like east-west from the aux platform okay. to the east, right? So just as long as it's either south or north of that line, then we're good. If you go north, you'll go under Atlanta now. So whichever oh. one is that would better be, for you. That would probably be good. 
I don't know. Do I keep it in view while I fly it here? Or do I fly it? I'm going to fly up. That would be nice to pick we it up. We will also and fly the instrument away as well, so that we'll get rid of more of a belly eventually. So. Mm. I would come up to your same altitude you were before. So, what was that, 15 meters? I'm not dragging it in the mud. You can probably watch it here as you come up. Yeah. I'm going to take these away. Yeah, you can, you can pass them back down here because I had like one. I might get one and then get they, them out. And then they ended up going around the room. <laughs> you back up a little, can you see? Or are you too high? 12 meters. I mean, we're at 15 before, so. Yeah. I think um, when I'd we pull the right instrument up. out, we'll also clear the instrument right out, right? 15, so yeah. as long as we're like more than 10 meters away, south or north, that's fine. Probably lay it out there. Lay it out here? Yeah. I'll keep backing away. Watch it in your bubble cam and lay it down. I want to keep backing up so I don't coil it up. Should be 15 meters away from the X when you come down. Oh, what's that about? That's weird. Oh, that's the cable dust. I was like, uh oh. <laughs> Next to the platform. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, where are we here? Right next to the platform. But we shouldn't be pulling it this far. Like this would mean we're quite far away from it at this point. We should pull it either like north. We laid it out to the. Yeah, you're fine. Lay it down there. Okay. Yeah. So this means now we. Okay. I'll go see what we've done. But I think we've pulled now all the way. I don't think so. 15 meters away from the X when we came up 15 meters, so. All right, barf it off there. We are exactly. Do we want a dust cap this side or are you good? No. Okay. We are, how do you make this little trigonometry thing work? This thing is so slow because we got the background layer on again. It's just slow. Did you want one of the engineers to try doing the trig, Dan? I have trig action right here. <laughs> Trigonometry action. You uh, were giving us a hard time the other day. Jake was back there oh, okay. doing math for Dan in the book just because he could. <laughs> <laughs> I saw I your push out? Yeah. Math for Dan. We are exactly 15 meters away. Oh, and, that and works. So we came up 15 and uh, back 15, in theory. Up 15, back we get 15. We got the barf this? Yeah, barf A it. squared plus B squared. Equals C squared. Sunkatoa. If it was me, I'd just rip it right out of there by the cable. Mm, no thanks. <laughs> the connector can take it. That fine layer of dust. Easy on the speed, because you will create a dust storm behind you. So the way the uh, whatever thingy uh, comes off the vehicle to the port side, so you want to be have the current on your starboard side, whatever there is of it. Okay. There's that little. There's that little loop right down there. 
I think it's under you now. It feels like the current is negligible. Or do you have your head into it? I think we've got our head before this. We'd be having our head into it before. Look at this way. It's with the direction of the cloud. Which which way was that? Um, so no, the way you're looking right now is into the current. Roger. So you can come uh, 45 to your left, maybe. Uh, other way, you want to look uh, 045. That way, we're not on the cable too. So. Okay. Set down ever so gently. I'd come around a little more. Sure looks white. That's good. Yeah. I'm thinking it's <laughs> yeah. the black like part right of the there. connector yeah. is. Yeah. Oh, that could be. Jeb is saying this looks like the end of the con, like the green conduit, but maybe that it's buried in. Yeah, so it's either right to the left or right to the right. Mongo's going to be in the, or uh, Magnum's going to be in the wood. Pick it up. I just want to see if this is here first. So, yeah, that definitely looks like. Pick that up. So once um Lord slowest shoulder. So once we can confirm that this is where it is, we want to get the um, other the new instrument plugged in because right come now down we, on the delta. Right now we've got Two. those pins exposed to sea water, which I mean five should meters be fine, or something. But should be fine. I'm getting towed. They're gold. You can't hurt them. Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> <laughs> there's no real ans straight answer. I don't. I, I agree with you, Dan. I don't think there's a concern. So, this is first step, I guess. Is let's figure out if we're at the right spot. Well, we got the old cable out of the way. Sure, that's that was right. a step. We're also. Uh, about 75 meters away from our 2,000 meter target depth for the package. Uh, okay. Are we ready to start doing some dredging? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Just dredge away. Okay, bucket cam and down lights, please. Like my uh, slide method? Hit the no. eject button. Do not like your slide spastic method. Well, I wasn't just going to shoot it off of there. It was Grab it a little shorter. Grab it halfway back. Anywhere on the pipe, Denny. If you choke up a little, you'll be more... Accurate. We're not going to dredge that far. So. Yeah, right there, grab it. So now I'm chasing my, a dog chasing his own tail. If you're closer to the end, you'll have more control over it. That's a good hold. Uh, look up, show me the hose real quick. So I'm inside or the outside. It's, it's sitting right on top of your shoulder. The hose? Yeah, yeah. it's sitting right on the uh, groove. Danny Cam tells you, every, tells you a story. That works for me. Okay. Give me some vacuum power, please. I don't know what they were using. They, were, so they started with 50. We did it earlier. We did a uh, 100 was doing really good. Yeah. Give it all. Give, give it, it all. Full beans. That's full we beans. That's what we did Video, please zoom in. Ah. 
Ah, that's a good one right there. So, I was watching your technique earlier. It's better to hold it in one place for a while and then move it instead of constantly moving. You're less likely to clog it. So we want to follow the green cable one way or the other. Yep. Don't, don't suck up the fish. The fish is like suction. The deep sea koi, <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's the um, exhaust again. Oh, that's the exhaust, yeah, blowing it. Yeah. yeah, we need to put a stack on this thing, blow it out the top. I think we do, yeah. I was worried that would affect the... Uh, It's a caisson. It's not yeah. a green cable, that's a caisson. So confirmed, we are in the right position. Found it. It's kind of blowing perfectly under the vehicle. Yeah, yeah like and it's just like... Yeah, the exhaust is blowing right out the back. And no, it's blowing off the left side of the vehicle. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. But it appears to uh, come up. I'll stop on the section. Come up. I'll stop. Float up. See what how the float up. Yeah. So X is indeed the spot, right? You guys saw the case on? Yeah, it's out there. That's so we can go plug the new one in then. Yeah, let's go do that. Or we can drop bean bags. We're at two thousand meters, so that's. I guess they're gonna stop at 2,500. Come on, video. We got Come another. On. We can go another 500. Okay. All right. So that's a spot, and the suction works. That's good. Yep. I'll stow my suction. Just drop it. Just drop it. Sure. Ah, I want to stow it. So back west, back to the dropped instrument. It's kind of close to the auxiliary platform there. Please fail. You have it on? Yeah, whatever. You porch out for him. You can just, just drop it, Danny. You know. Okay, I drop it. It's not going anywhere. There you go. Okay, so it should be maybe to your left, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, to your left, though. You got till we get there. There it is. <laughs> Dirk, we got a message from our friend uh, Willem in Holland again. A Star Wars fan. <laughs> He's got uh, Mandalorian with a toilet brush of science. Nice. <laughs> I want that for a screensaver. Uh, cleaning off uh, Baby Yoda's <laughs> <laughs> little orb thing. <laughs> yeah. It's a funny picture. It's killing me. I can't watch the new season though. You can't it's watch no it? Good. It's not good? Nope. Is that the problem? Yep. There he goes. <laughs> Portion. Portion. Uh, what, so we're just going to play with the connectors here, right? Yeah, we're, we're going to leave the instrument. the instrument. Yeah, just play with All right, connectors. so before you do anything, do you have a clear sense of which way you have to go to get to the instrument platform? <laughs> Jet North. Off. This one here is strain relief. Yeah. We okay. should be able yeah. to see the instrument platform. The only thing here. is um, the cable pulls up. So connector pulls up first, right? So auto deploy. <laughs> um, I changed my mind. Oh really? Yeah, if you don't stow it it will stuff it in the mud and it might clog it. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Well, the good news is I've got auto deploy. You want it on the inside of the arm, obviously, which it looks like it is. It's on top of the arm, okay. actually. Let me, uh... <coughs> really?
the porch out there, is it? It is. I can extend more, though. I didn't know if it would stay. Apparently, it's going to stay. What am I doing wrong? There it goes. That's stuck it. on top of the shoulder, too. There's your tenure left. That's why it's not going in anymore. Yeah, see, it's right there. On top of the shoulder. Yeah. I can porch out some more. I hope. Sure. Yeah, okay. side we said, right? Okay. So we might have to first fly the, the package closer to the caisson, otherwise the cable is potentially going to coil up on itself. Because right. it feeds, feeds from the top, and uh, it'll be hard to pull the instrument all the way back from the bottom of the coil, so we might have to start further. Lynette, can you make the nav screen one color? So that I feel like it's a Star Trek episode of half blue and half black. <laughs> What's that face off episode where all the guys have blue and black faces? So you want to pick up the whole mess and uh, move it? Yeah, move it. Now that we know where it's going, move it close to the, like still on the auxiliary side of that, but uh, just in a space that it's not going to be in our way, but also right. so that we don't have to tangle the cable to get it over there. Okay. You can uh, come down and land there, Jake. Okay. Can I do it without landing? Maybe. You can, maybe. If we're so you got slow. a harness on the left. You can see the kind of poly... You come uh, change your head to the right a little. I'll hand the uh, yeah uh, back to the left. I'm gonna be have it across the front of the porch there. Back to the left, right? Heading, sorry, heading left. Yeah. I just go ahead and land. Over here. Land. Okay. Yeah, but uh, something like that heading. That should work. That won't land. Seems to be getting worse, but... Come bring her to 25, Lynette, and stop there.
Monkey fist in theory will pick up the uh, yep. whole ball of wax. Freeze fail. Lock job. all the way? I think so. Maybe not. Breeze fell. Okay, off you go to somewhere. Okay. How much room do you think we'd want um, around this caisson for excavating for the ROV? Because that's kind of how far we want to put it away from it. Uh, we're going to probably need access all the way around, so. Yeah, probably like five meters away from it? Yeah, something like that. Okay, five. So if we put it. On the auxiliary side, auxiliary platform side, five meters north or south. Yeah. That would be good. Sure. Five meters north of the auxiliary platform? No, five meters away from the hole. From the hole. Yeah. We're under. So back east. But it just uh, maybe just south of that white cable there. Right. Let's give ourselves room to. I'm gonna turn off your downlights. Okay. footprint away, maybe back a little bit. See the ROV footprint, so we can land there without landing on it. Yeah, that works. Button down, button down.
floppy handle. Is there a bit? Whatever you think, multiply by pi and add 20%. Okay, get out of there. <laughs> Away you go. Away I go. So, another 100 meters, so we could go do uh, beanbags now. She's at 24. Where do you want to put the bean bags, Dirk? Um, somewhere close enough that we don't have to do a miles of trekking to p pull them and pull them over here, um, but right. also far right. enough that it's not going to slow us down. Right now they're 15 meters away from the caisson. Yeah. It's 20 meters away. Yeah. So wherever it makes sense for the cables and and I mean they're on the acoustic release, right? And this is not a exact science, so we could. If we're happy that they're getting close to their spot, we could probably drop them from wherever. Yeah, it 15 doesn't have meters to be right off fine. the bottom. Okay. Uh, so uh, that'll be your call. If you if we have a, cool, a a good spot and whenever you want to drop them, you can go ahead. Yeah, I'm happy to drop them now. Yeah, they should fall fairly straight up and down. So where are they? Let me just check okay. the nav screen here. They're the. They're 2,400 meters and they're 15 meters. Uh, northeast of us. Um, near the caisson, like, or near the aux platform? Do you think they're above any of the cables or well, any we, of the instruments? We can go over there and have a look, but no, they're to the northeast. To the northeast of the yeah. aux, okay. Fly over there, Jake. I'll just scope to out the, the northeast. landing zone. Yeah, okay. see where this little white dot is on the nav screen? Yeah. Yeah, I kept thinking this is going to be quite the process, lowering this down, but they don't need to be all the way near the bottom. So we can just drop them from wherever, that, as long as we're... Uh, they're 15, meter, 15 meters northeast of the um, goodies, I think. And, uh, yeah, 15 meters is probably pretty good. Yeah, I think like. I come down uh, 100 meters, Lynette. Do they, uh, do you know if they have their acoustic release ready and stuff like that? That's all ready to go? Okay, sweet. And they can get the acoustic release ready. Do you want, do you want it in the water yet, Dan? Sure. So it could be in the water too if they're ready for it. Oh, what bottle is that? Do you see that? Yeah, it looks like a <laughs> alcohol bottle or something. <laughs> yeah. That's not our stuff. Okay, this is uh, basically the landing zone here, Dirk. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot. Okay, Dirk, uh, turn and burn to the west. Turn and burn. Turn and burn, pull it away. I'm going to 
change the sonars to something I can deal with now. Roger that. Well, I didn't put him on ludicrous speed. I'm going to change um, Herc's range to 50 meters. I mean, sorry, Atlantis to 50. Uh, Herc to 25. Uh, Does that say 25, 23, does it? Or 26? How deep's that thing on it? 25, 30. Roger. Coming up? Eh, no. I'm over it. We're going to bring it down to us. I've done it twice and it's worked out so far, so. I'll come up a little bit. You might even still be able to stay on the seabed and Get it so you're 10 meters off in our. You should be able to hold at 10 meters there. Go ahead, Winch. for the release to put it over the side. I think her counter is off because I'm seeing 25, 5, 8, 6, 8. Well, the release, the beacon isn't at the bottom, right? That's the depth of the beacon. I don't know. It's probably at the most 20 meters different. So 25, 70, 25, 80. Have her come down 10. Down 10 on the winch. Winch now. Can you pay out another ten meters on the winch, please? It's going to be really close this time. It's like more than ten meters of us. Look, there's two RVs doing the pincher move on it. And the sonar, perfect, pretty as you please. Ten meters away, right in front of us. There it is. Another ten. Roger. Are we ready to release? Come you? down another ten, please. Winch now. Can you pay out another ten meters, please? We'll come down and get it in uh, Herc view, Lynette. I don't know if I want to drop the bean bags from. I don't know unless you want to drop them from fifty meters. Uh, we could drop them from wherever, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're not worried, only 10 meters away? <laughs> nope. Bombs away. 
We dropped two from the surface earlier with the beacon on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it took half an hour to get to the bottom. I'm just more worried about the giant dust storm they're going to make. I guess they're going to make a dust storm in either way. Yeah, I think they reached their speed pretty quick. Terminal velocity? Yeah. <clears throat> Look, um... Never mind. Look to your left just a little bit. Okay, they can let them go if they're ready. Roger, uh, we're all clear up here if you want to activate the release. Roger. Yeah, so they're, they probably drop at like 80 meters a minute, which is kind of slower than what I would have thought. Yeah. Well, we're going to see it, probably. See if we can catch one out as it goes by. <laughs> catch it on the porch. <laughs> Fly up and grab it as it's descending. I'm going to come down uh, five meters here. Okay. I can come down five as well if you want. It's probably better here because Herc's further away, the release might actually work. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Oh, right by the bottle. Right by the bottle. Go ahead, Winch. Hmm. Clear to release, clear to release. Clear to release. I remember that bottle. <laughs> the bottle of Jack Daniels right there. Still full? No, it's definitely empty. The cap should be laying somewhere around here too, because when we started, we threw that over. We didn't knew we weren't going to need that. <laughs> well, then I guess it's not empty. Huh? If the cap's not on, it's definitely not empty. Oh, well. Yeah. Danny wants to pick it up, put it in his uh, collection, I think. Nah, it's too new. Too new? Too new. We have release, bombs away. Go ahead, Winch. It says release okay. Can you visually confirm and release? Confirm and clear to surface. Stand by. Boom, now you have a suddenly have a sonar target, Jake. How's that for Oh yeah. There you go. Twenty meters. They're uh, clear to surface, Lynette. Okay. You're clear to surface, Winch. Okay, Let's wait till the wires above Argus here. Just out of an abundance of caution. See the dust storm? Oh, what is that? Yellow there. I don't know. Is that a cable? Looks like it. <laughs> Let's see that in our landing site in investigation. Our, our survey? <laughs> <laughs> what cable is that? The one going to the IP, the oily? No, no, it's not that one. It is. Let's see. Okay, we know where the beanbags are. We can go uh, back to work. Back to work. Yeah. yeah. They're clear to come up at whatever speed they want to, Lynette. Uh, what do I do for turns here? Turn in uh, clockwise. Or 
we can follow the cable back if you're interested, but it probably goes no, no, to I the... No, uh, it's, it's a 20 kilometer PPR. Right. Yeah. 19 kilometer cable. Well pinned. Yeah. Not exactly where it's supposed to be, but it's good. I think it'll be fine. Looks like we're dead centered it. Pardon? Looks like we dead centered it. I don't think so, because it didn't look yeah. like any dust. Come down on the delta, too. Roger, sorry. It didn't really look like the cable kicked up any dust after it, so I don't think we moved it. Yeah, it would have It would have been evident. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a stripe. Yeah, a stripe tonight. of dust, yeah. I, I don't, and I also don't think a bee bag can do that much damage. No, not at 80 meters a minute. Yeah. So do we want to plug the instrument in now? Yeah. That's what if I'm we hearing. plug the instrument in, then uh, we can come back here and fiddle with this. Come back and Jimmy Jazz it. Yeah, I mean, hopefully once we get through that top layer, it won't be as dusty when it's just the beads. Yeah. They got a good rinse when we're deployed them. You can see that. Yeah. It was kind of funny. You can see where uh, we started suctioning beads because it's like a pile of beads behind us there yeah i thought about doing a turn for the exhaust but uh i was concerned any obstructions in your eductor is that what you call it yeah eductor i don't know what's the difference between that and an aventuri but there was there was no fitting on it so yeah i tried to eductor it up up our like port side, so I think you're gonna want to try a heading of uh, like three one five. Oh wait, we're not. Never mind. Never mind. I'll shut up. Three one five. Never mind. When we uh, start uh, educting. Educting. Oh, we still got an instrument to deploy first. All right. So B bags deployed. Check. Check. Just checking stuff off. I don't think I'm over the reach this way. Dan, you good? Yeah. Sorry, I was trying to get a wrap, but how did I do that? Did I turn our Atlanta the wrong way as usual? Maybe. Down lights coming up. So the uh, platform should be right behind us on this yeah. heading? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. We don't have a waypoint for it yet, do we? What line? Uh, the We didn't take a... Waypoint? No. I don't know if we did. It's just not on the NAM screen. on the high pack above our pay grade screen. Probably. Oh. Looks like heavier dust. Pull pins? Yeah, we got a couple pull pins there. Right. And then the connector. You can see the loops there. I can see one of them. I'm getting the one I can see. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Always is. Wow, that one is in there. Uh. That looks like I got a twofer. <laughs> What's up with that? Um, the one. 
One breaks the zip tie. zip tie that connects the two handles together. Yeah, so he might... I have to come down again to reset an issue with the winch. Um, it may be as much as one That's fine. Okay, I think that's no problem for us, yeah. That's fine, Winch. So the two handles are held together by each other with yeah. a zip tie, and then uh, that's pull pin on the other one. All right, there. So we don't need to break the zip tie holding the handles yet. All right, there. <clears throat> that function no working. Rest. That's all the way up. There we are. Oh, I got it. Spammed it. And then I think we're clear to like pull that monkey's fist harness out of the way right but it there. might still be all the bungees might not have fully released yet not sure sure doesn't look like these connectors are free Get a sense for which way the current's blowing here, at least. Yep. All right. Might be. Is I caught something there? I don't know. Maybe. I'll just mow it to death. Mow, 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 mow. Looks like you're free. Yeah, I'm just going to hand one to the Magnum and then grab the other one. And at least have one before the whole mess drops into the mud again.
think that's a good grab. I can't mm. tell. Three finger. I think if you rotate to John and Craft, you can get it. There you go. doesn't want to break. There you got that swivel. All right. <coughs> Obviously does not Fletcher. Yeah, this one does this one does not. Goes into a slot on the ox platform. Yep. Slot grip. Okay, Jake. All right. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Cable and plug it in. Uh oh. Got some stuff with you. Still got biz. Just dangle it all in front of us, and we'll come back down on the yeah, okay. beauty. Yeah. And I don't think we follow this cable back. The, this cable. Uh, yeah, it's going to be to your slide right a little as you're coming up. But first, yep. we want to pick it up where we still got biz and two cameras. Yeah, that's a good call. Then we'll lay it back out. Dan Delta. Roger. Thank you. Tilt it in. I could go for dinner right now if you want. Do you want to? You got this? Thanks. Yeah, you could go eat as well, Danny. Uh, I like to go second. Go eat. <coughs> I'm up 12 meters. Yeah, I can still see it if you kick your head left a little. I can see it in boop. I can come up a couple more meters. See one more coil coming out there. Yep. I'm gonna right. kill the uh, downlights. Oh, down lights. Uh, open the iris for us. Maybe come down and back a little. And yep. Start laying it out. Uh, tink. Oh, yeah, I want to go. Tink, you're going to have to slide to the south. So. Yeah, I want it. Oh, no. I think right here at the end of our snail trail. So kind of under you. All right. I don't know if Lynette has a waypoint there in high pack. I think it's right under you. Yeah, you're almost over the waypoint I have. All right. 
Yep. Let's say it's right there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'm going to go back up. Lay down the, the uh, other south side. side. Yeah. yeah, but go forward a little so we're not dragging it. Yep. Maybe. Yeah. Tied off, but a little long, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you rotate around on your head, now you can. We can see the instrument platform and the cable action. Should have the leash, maybe. really clever, we'll lay it, go back and put an S, nice lazy S in it. Can we move uh, south 20 on it? You want to move south 20? Yes, please. Bridge nav. Hi, can we move two zero meters south, please? <laughs> Thank you. Lay it a little sharper to our right, I think. Okay. Because we're going to have to pull it back when we pull the instrument. So if you put a lazy S in it there, when we pull it out, it won't pull back over itself. You know what I mean? Yep, I'm sliding right. We want to pull a little bit of the tail back towards the instrument there. Yep. Bouncing around. Roger, I'm going down. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to land. We're going to have to what? We're going to have. Is there any way we can do this without landing? Oh, uh, we can. Oh, well, we can't grab on because we're holding on to the. I could land on the beanbag, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you can land on the beanbag. I care not if the channel we land. more uh, 
Bertha. Our friend's bag. Fish the friend. That Cuskeel really likes us. Okay, uh, freeze fail. Can you tilt up a bit for me? Is that worse? can go either way, right? Doesn't matter. Yeah, I think it can go either up or down. Tight fit, eh? Apparently. <laughs> nice. Mm. Nice. I think it needs to go the other way. <coughs> you don't think that'll be an issue getting the connector on there? Or the cable sitting in the back? Run that by me again, Dan? Uh, maybe the cable sitting in the back there, but it doesn't seem to sit all the way down in there. You think the foul mount's bumping on, on the back of the platform? I, I reckon so, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember if it's notched out back there or not. Uh, Can you see in your uh, no. bubble there that the grating doesn't, uh, but there's probably some steel back there, right? Yeah, I think it's yeah. sitting. Am I going to get enough hold of it there? I think that one's just short. Yeah. 
Yeah, it looks like we went with a standard Fletcher, and these are a little shallower. Wrist right? Roger. Oh, no. Wrist roll right. Wrist roll right. Wrist roll right. Um, that's, that's probably good. Are you right back there? Just in case I have a freeze fail. <laughs> <laughs> Or the boat rolls. <coughs> Roll? Rolls? No, the boat rolls. Oh. <laughs> Did we kick up much of a cloud here earlier? Do you remember? No. no. Jake was very gentle. Nice. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll take a peek in Slow the, smooth. at the pins beforehand if you think there's any chance anything got no, in there. I'm being spastic. Uh, you'll have to wrist roll right a little bit for me. Wrist roll right. I'm uh, not in it. Optimal connector grabbing. Keep coming. Yeah. Come on around to that angle. Yeah. <coughs> poke. Uh, location poke. Oh, you have it locked. What's that? It's locked on your screen, Joe. Yeah, well, now we're going to unplug it here and plug it into the... Oh, okay. Right? Oh. I believe that's the order of operation. Theory. Unplug it. Oh, it looks like, looks like our sea star friend righted itself. That was pretty quick. That was, yeah. Efficient. Efficient sea star. It did its workout for the day. Leg day, right? <laughs> or arm day. Is it legs or arms? I don't know. Legs. Appendage day? <laughs> it's just day. Day. <laughs> Jab a zoom in on that pin there. Uh huh. Thanks. Go for zoom video. Just want to see the pins inside the connector and make sure there's no starfish in there. Sea stars. <laughs> right. Looks Jelly. like there's something in there. Like a worm or something. <laughs> Wait, well, let's take a closer look. Yeah, I'll push in a little bit more. Yep. Thanks, Jake. Who is that? <laughs> That pin is, is a, that thing is huh. nasty. <laughs> yeah. And what, uh, what does that top pin look like there? Is that a little... Smoky. That's what yeah, it the one like. pin looks a little weird. Uh, can you Not pen? round. You got any more pin, right? Yeah, zoom I mean, right in there. platform was powered down, battery go. was off. There's. It's a uh, full zoom. Full zoom. Shouldn't be live. Hmm. Well, yeah, looks great. <laughs> Can we, yeah, give it a little swish. See if uh, our pink friend flies out. What? Which which pin is that, Jeb? Uh, oh, I can't remember pin. how they're numbered from. Whatever that is, it looks gooey. Yeah. Is it gooey or? Or is gone? it gone? Yeah. <laughs> you gooey, gooey, gone. Play the game at home. Gooey or gone? I'll see if I can dig that up. I think I took a, a still. From yeah. before, so I'll, I'll see uh, if they can track that now. So plug it in. <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> abort. Hang on for a second. Yeah, you know, I can't. We do have a non-functional one on board. Yeah, maybe I'll just run down and take a look. The key on this one's on the top, right? We'll make sure they're oriented the same. Do you figure that's the top pin? It kind of looks like it to me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the top pin is the one that's like a little strange, but <coughs> then there's the, the weird globey thing. Yeah. These are the re reverse function. Weird it's little. Yeah. Is it some sort of biological. Is it sitting right on top of the pin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looks yeah. like. It's I, just I, I hanging out there. Don't think I want to mate that. Uh, what if you? It'll push it out of the way. <laughs> a 
push it into the uh, it's the oil chamber. Not even moving at all. Okay, I'm gonna run downstairs. Give me a minute. Thanks. It's just uh, it's insulating compound. Yeah. It's yeah. fine. It'll seal. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, that pin doesn't look. Like Do we have the T boss? Oh yeah, we can bend all the pins and they'll never ever meet. <laughs> So if we're not going to plug this in, I'll put it back on the blanking plug. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Well, I think just stand by for a second. Uh, Jeff will give us some information. We will have to make a decision on this soon anyway, so we can't just sit here. Yeah. Whistling Dixie. Megan, do you remember the name of that fish that, that swam by? Oh, the Cuskeel? The Cuskeel. Yeah, family Opidiidae. It could be possibly in the genus Spectrunculus. Spectrunculus. I want to be in that genus. Yeah. Fantastic name. <laughs> 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 we're already in it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I already forgot what it's called because it was complicated for me to think about. Cuskeel. Cuskeel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can tell cuskeels and rat tails apart. Um, 